Let's ask the Lord to bless us all. Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest that I may preach with humility, with love, and with the heart, and that people listen with the heart, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit. Sisters and brothers, wherever you are, you are there, and God is there. It's amazing po itong modern ways of communication. Imagine we are, we can be watched all over the world. Thank you, O Lord, for making this possible. Naalala ko po, when we were, you know, nauso na yung mga cable TV, nung panahon namin, yung TV talagang di roskas. Pag nagbaba-baba pa yung vertical, bina- ang hirap po, black and white. Pero masaya po mag-TV noon kasi pati mga kapitbahay kami nakikipanood. Nasa labas nga lang, nasa balcony. Wala kami sa orkestra. <laughs> Pero pag sinarado na nila yung kurtina, tapos na po yung show. Mga ganun po ba? You remember those simple times. And I remember, um, there was a time, mga 20 years ago, nauso na yung mga satellite TV. At meron kong nadinig noon, you get this dish, satellite dish, you can get all the channels all over the world. Imagine, ang maganda pa, mura, 4,000 pesos. You can have free access na raw. Eh di naniwala kami. Punta kami sa raon. Nandun nga, 4,000. Adi, masaya kami nung binayaran na sabi ng kwan. Pero alam niyo sir, para ma- ma-pick up niyo yung satellite na yon, kaya dapat nakadirect yung dish na yan, kailangan ho niyo ng telescope. Yung telescope po ay 20,000 para mahanap niyo kung nasaan yung satellite na yon. Yung pala, akala namin, wow, freelance na, okay na. Paalaala po ni Lord sa atin ngayon, wala pong shortcut. No shortcuts, please. Ito pong paalaala niya. Those who want to serve me, those who want to follow me, must take up their cross, must become the servant of all. Kasi po, marami po ang nangyayari. For example, para makapag-serve, public servant, sino shortcut po eh. Dadaanin sa pera, nakapwesto na, hindi lang sino shortcut, ginagawa pong, uh, ano tawag doon, yung, you, anong English na, you short uh, chains. You short chains the people. Kasi in business service, marami ka namang chains pala na self-service. Mga kapatid, reading the gospel today, I was saying, Oh God, marami pa akong dapat matutunan about true service. For example, the first part. Uh, what do you wish me to do for you? And you know, mga James, John, the sons of Zebedee came to Jesus. Pabulong pa. Lord, eh, kung pwede lang sana eh. Isa sa amin, on your right, on your left, in your kingdom. Position. Humihingi na ng appointment. Hindi pa nakakasunod. Ito po ang napakapangit when we look at service na dapat may position. Actually, you don't have to have a position to do your mission. Sa totoo lang po, marami pong nagsisilbi na napakasimple na hindi po nadidinig, hindi nakikilala but they are serving. Today, may I ask you to look into your life. Yung mga taong tumutulong sa iyo kapatid, tumutulong sa atin, na hindi man lang natin na-acknowledge kung minsan. They are the ones who truly serve. Mayroon ngang hugot line, yung doormat sa door. Alam yung doormat, yung Apakan, di ba? Sabi niya, mabuti ka pa door. 
ikaw hinihintay, kinakatukan, hinihintay na mapagbigyan. Yung, yung nandiyan ka lang, palagi kanilang ikaw ang kanilang nakikita. Ako nandito, inaapakan lang. Inaapak-apakan lang. Pero ang laking serbisyo po ng doormat. Sino mga doormat sa buhay mo, kapatid? People you don't even appreciate many times. Sila po ang dakila. Those who serve quietly, they serve it best. Today, paalala po ni Lord sa atin, focus on the mission, not the position. At dan po ang nagiging dahilan, ito nga po nangyari. O, oh, nadinig ng mga iba. Aba, aba, sipsip pala itong dalawa. Nagpapalakas. Anong nangyari? Nagalit na siya. Yan na po yung infighting, envy in any organization. Ito na po, pati sa bayan natin. Kasi gusto lahat mag-serve. And see what happens? Divisions. Sana po, let not our positions, our status, <clears throat> become, a, become an obstacle to true service. Today too, the Lord tells us, Gusto mong maging the greatest, you must be the servant of all. Service. Service. Sa totoo lang po, sa lahat po na nag-file ng COC, Candidate Certificate of Candidacy for 2022 elections. Tapos na po eh. Please remember, learn. Remember again, you are public servants. Public service, hindi po self-service. At hindi po family business. Minsan po, tignan nyo yung mga sasakyan. May mga karatula. I noticed it one time. Paalaala lang po ah. May mga karatula na may mga sasakyan na nakalagay, not for hire. Yun. Ang gandang lesson yun. You're not for hire. You're not for the money, not for the show. Keep that in mind. You are meant for service. Hindi po pera-pera. Ang dami po nagsasabi, anak ko, yung mga walang pera, walang pag-asang manalo sa election. That's what many people think, but I still believe, I still believe the goodness of people. Please don't give up on our goodness and the goodness of our people. Huwag po natin gawiting pera-pera lang ang election na ito. Hindi po. No. Please. Let's prove the world that we are made of better stuff. Number two, nakakita na ba kayo nakalagay doon? Public utility. Vika. Yan po. Public use. Ibig sabihin, for the use of the public. Open for all. Tapos, mayroon namang nakalagay dyan um, for, for official use. Also. Ay, only pa lang. Pero ginagamit nila kung ano-ano, kung saan-saan. Public. Public utility. Ah, it's a government thing. Pero naging personal. For official use only. Marami. Dapat ilagay na lang for official use also. Pagkatapos ng family use. Oh, mayroon pa akong nakita po sa tricycle naman. <laughs> May baboy sa sidecar. Di okay lang. Pero nung tinignan ko yung paratula, ang lagay ay nakalagay bore for hire. Alam po nyo yung mga male na mga baboy na you know, for reproduction. Kaya lang, ang spelling hindi B-O-A-R nakalagay doon B-O-R-E <laughs> Bore for Hire. Hmm, sabi ko, dami mga uh, you know, maraming messages sa atin po lahat. But the one that really struck me most when I saw on a vehicle mabagal po siya eh. And the sign was very simple. This too 
shall pass. Ibig sabihin, makaka-overtake din ito someday. But the message is so clear for all of us. Everything is passing. Lahat that we have, yung honor, yung position na yan, kaya mawawala rin yan eh. Nobody stays on top forever. And don't forget our date with eternity. But we have to pass through death. That's where it ends. All roads lead to the grave and beyond. Sisters and brothers, paalaala po, what does it profit you and me? We gain the whole world and in the end, we lose our soul. So mga kapatid, ito pong na- na-realize ko minsan, mayroon kaming reunion sa seminaryo. Wow! Parang assembly, reunion. Eh. So pagkatapos ng after breakfast, picture taking. Lahat kami nandun na picture taking. Nakahilera na, nandun nandun. Ang ganda na. Oh, naka-smile na kami. Nung magkuga na, sabi na isa, wait, 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 sandali lang. May tumakbo. Pinutol niya yung may branch na nakaganon. Pinutol niya. Nakakasira kasi ng view. Eh, sabi namin, my God. That plant has been there for years, trying to grow. And in one instant, for a five-minute photo opportunity, somebody killed it. Just for a photo op. You know, it hit me hard. Sabi ko, remember, lahat tayo, public servants especially, do not kill the institutions that were there before you. And will be there long after you are gone. Let's not disrespect them. And don't kill the hopes and dreams of people. Wag po sana. We are all just passing by. Please remember that. And the, and the final question at the end of our lives is this. Did I fill the world with love? Did I fill the world with love? Did I make this a better world because I passed by? Anong iiwanan ko? When I leave this world, mga basura ko, mga sinira ko, yung ba? Please remember, our life is meant for service. Sabi nga po nila, service is the rent you pay for being in this world. O mga iba dyan, di pa nagre-rent, di pa nagbabayad. Judith na, Judith. It's time for you. Payback time. Serve this world, serve the earth, serve the people. That's our rent. Sana po, mayroon tayong iwanan because we serve. May I honor people who serve quietly, sincerely. First of all, today, the men and the women of the hour are the frontliners and the health workers. Not those who say so many things outside. No sila po. Kung wala po sila, wala na po tayo. So, Thank you, frontliners, health workers. Maraming salamat po. And all those essential workers, we honor those who sacrifice their lives even so that others may live. That is the key word po sa buhay natin. Sacrifice. Service. Sacrifice. What have you sacrificed? What have you sacrificed? We keep asking ourselves. Mayroon pong kwento ng isang kamag-ahak namin, si General Titan Kison. Nung bata raw po siya, ginigising siya ng mama niya ng alas 4 ng umaga para mag-serve sa alas 6 ng umaga na misa. Ang tanong po niya madalas, si bata nga naman gusto matulog. Mama, bakit po naman alas 6 pang misa Pwede naman ako mag-serve sa alas otso. Ang sabi po ng nanay, Titan, kung walang sakripisyo, hindi yan servisyo. Very good question. The service you do if there's no sacrifice, it's not really a service. Kulang. So may I thank people who really sacrifice. Ang dami po. Mga magulang, kayo po mga lahat po. And usually, yung mga doormat, 
na hindi man lang na-acknowledge, ina-apak-apakan lang, yan ang tunay na serbisyo. Hindi po yung mga naka, mukha naka, kung saan-saan naka, epal, epal ba tawag doon? The doormat. We honor the doormats, mga kapatid. So, tell me, meron po bang mga naging public servants na naging mas pulubi? Did anybody become poorer dahil naging nagsilbi siya sa gobyerno? I know of many people who really serve sincerely. I salute them too. And I know of one who was a congressman, who was a governor, cabinet secretary, na naging mas pulubi pagkatapos ng service niya. I know him. Anyway, what I'm saying is, goodness abounds. There's so much goodness. Let us not be cynical about love and goodness. And grace, grace is real. We pray for the grace po, mga kapatid. And by the way, let us learn huh, about service. For me, I was a tennis player. And one of the things I wrote about tennis is specialize in good service. Because with service, you have one shot, two shots actually, you have all the time. Wala kang pressure. You, you can really aim. Specialize. It's the best shot. Same in life, mga kapatid. Specialize in good service. Okay na yan. And one of the rules of tennis po is eyes on the ball. You have to see the focus on that. Hindi kung saan saan ka nakatingin. No. Keep your eyes on the ball. And one more thing. Follow through. Hindi yung ginanong lang. You follow through. Importante po yan sa ating paglilingkod. Yung constancy, stay focused on your goal, you follow through. And don't forget, there's a great umpire who sees everything, who's keeping the score. And all he asks you is that you do your best. And one more lesson from tennis, make it a love game. Love. Same with basketball. Oh, nung panahon din namin, yeah, basketball, simply, pareho din po. Focus on the goal, right? Focus on the goal. At the same time, when you make a shot, follow through. That in follow through, hindi mo itatapon lang. No, you follow through. And one more thing, basketball. Learn to pass the ball. <laughs> May mga kasami kami namin ng buaya, ang lalayo, nag-shoot na. Parang it was all about it. We are a team. Same with all of us. Even public servants. Pass the ball. Pass it on to others. Don't have it all. These are simple things. And then one more thing to In basketball, I, I realize. Effective po yung fadeaway shot. Kasi that, marami sa atin, forcing through, ganun pala. But when you fade away, you step back and you just take the shot. Hindi yung pasok ka ng pasok. It's when you step back, for then you take. That's a beautiful shot also. Well, things we learn. And today, may also honor our missionaries. We say goodbye, talking of servants. Well, Father Rod de la Rosa, SBD, served, served long, 23 years in Brazil. That's where he spent his first years as a priest. Then he served on to Germany, and he served on to Australia another eight years. So this life was full of service. He did a lot of legwork for the Lord. But there's one thing we should not forget. Service, sacrifice, and the other thing is sincerity. <clears throat> SSS na tayo. Service, sacrifice, sincerity. Remember Mother Teresa telling us all, so what if you, you preach well or you did all that, did all that, but did you do it with love? You don't have to do great things 
but you do small things with much love. Sincerity comes from the Latin word sine cera. Sine means without, cera means wax or masks. Ibig sabihin, truthfully, sincerely. There are those who serve, pero maraming agenda. Ang daming maskara. It's always a good question to ask ourselves, am I serving, am I sacrificing, and am I sincere? S, S, S. Father Rod, thank you. Father Rod was a conferer. But then, there are conferers who, are just, who just belong to the same group. Conferers, yeah. But Father Rod was more than that. He was a brother. Kapatid. And he was a friend. May mga conferers naman na friendly, but they're not friends. In other words, he really cared and he showed his care. Ito pong mga kailangan natin in this life. We who serve must serve together as brothers, as friends. And there's one more. You know, we have so much to learn. Marami pa tayong dapat matutunan about true service, sacrifice, and sincerity. Father J. Balyao, SVD. I mean, he brought home Father uh, Ferdi Resuena, SVD, from East Timor. Nandun sila, and Father Ferdi was sick. Very sick. And he wanted to go on. Father J accompanied Father Ferdi. And Father Ferdi was wheelchair bound. Imagine that. It's a plane from East Timor to Kuala Lumpur. Okay? Six hours layover sa airport, Kuala Lumpur. So, bodily carry niya, ganon. CR, everything. And he did it all because he was a confer and a brother and a friend. And then, next stop, Singapore. Ten hours layover. Dadalawa lang na raw sila sa airport nung pinapatay na yung mga but they had to wait on the gate. Can you imagine that kind of... He ain't heavy. He's my brother. Remember that song? He took care and brought him to Cebu, finally. Nakarating and stayed on with him. Cared for him until he died. Father, uh, Ferdi died um, October... 15 ba? Was it? Yeah. Some there. At the age of 51. These are examples of true service. Thank you po to all people who serve truly, who sacrifice and do it all with sincerity. You may never be known. Hindi kayo nakikilala. Walang, walang broadcast about you. But hey, Remember this, your Heavenly Father smiles at you, and you will have your reward. Sisters and brothers, let's continue to grow, and we pray like to Mama Mary, help us Mama Mary, to serve more like you, and to sacrifice like you did. And do it all with sincerity, with humility, with joy, and with love, even in secret and in anonymity. Anong sabi ng doormat sa door? Mabuti ka pa door, pinupuntahan, kinakatukan, hinihintay, buksan. Ako nandito, inaapak-apakan lang. Pero, okay lang. Maybe that's how we should all look at our lives. This world will never know or understand. There are many things inside you this world will never appreciate. But hold on to your peace. Hold on to your goodness anyway. The Heavenly Father knows everything. 
He knows. He understands. And the Father is pleased with you. In this Mass, we turn to the Lord again and say, Yes, Lord, we will serve. We will sacrifice with sincerity, with anonymity, with humility, with joy, and with love, like our Blessed Mother. Amen, Lord. Amen. <laughs>